everybody. Hi. Welcome to Twin Set and Pearls Knitting Podcast, episode 43. Mm, sounded a bit croaky there, did I? Oh, I was up <laughs> early this morning. Oh, it's only 10.15. Yeah. And we are... Uh, I left Bristol at 8 o'clock-ish, like five past. A um, little bit of a incident, had to get some fuel, and Sainsbury's had no internet. So... Um, no contactless but you made payments you, but you got here pretty quickly yeah no traffic was fine mm. i i got up i was awake at about 20 past five because my so all right do we really need to talk about this now no we don't but anyway <laughs> you're doing the introduction yeah <laughs> i'm rachel <laughs> i'm joe <laughs> we're twins who love to knit and um chat every day and we like to share our knitting with you guys. Yeah. And we design together as Twin Set and Pearl. We so do. today we're going to talk about... Joe's got some new designs and we're going to talk about some old, old designs as well. Yep. So that's quite exciting. And I didn't bring the... So we've been designing them. since May 2020. That's when we released our first pattern. Yeah. And um, we started podcasting in January 2022. 2022. Yeah. So there's a few designs that obviously never made it onto the podcast. So we thought we'd probably be quite nice to go yeah. back through some old designs and just share yeah. the inspiration and how they were developed yeah. and that kind of thing. And that'll be coming up later. Yeah. Um, so to start off, we've got a bit of admin. We have. We've got some giveaway winners and some... So we're sorry, we're being, this, is, this is all over the place this morning. I apologise. Um, but if you... Any way you can contact us is in the... <laughs> In the show notes below. Yeah. So Instagram, Ravelry, yeah, so email. Yes, we've each got our own Instagram as well as Twin Set and Pearl, which miraculously we can now both yeah. post on. Something's changed. Mm. And we've got a Ravelry group. Sorry, I'm just all of a sudden very busy. And you can obviously message us, message us with any mm -hmm. pattern, comments, questions on Ravelry or on Instagram. Instagram's possibly better because mm -hmm. we don't look at Ravelry that often. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, maybe two or three times a week, but don't expect yeah. a quick response. prompt response there. But you yeah. would probably get a more prompt response on Instagram or email. Or email. I'm, I'm Rachel's in charge of the email. email. She's more efficient than me. Well, actually, no, it's not just that. I have a full time job. <laughs> so a lot of the day I am thinking yeah. about other things than knitting, which is a shame because it would be the thing I'm thinking about all the time. A lot of the time I'm asleep. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, but just want to say thank you to any returning viewers. You know what's going to the kind of thing you're going to see. <laughs> There's no editing. So any to welcome to new viewers. The our intro was just as chaotic as normal. Yeah. If you like a go um, with the flow kind of podcast, then ours is the one. Yeah. So there's no editing. I maybe I put up the names of winners on the screen if I feel like it. But um, they will all be in the show notes below. And um, we will never contact you. you. Yeah, it so will we be need mentioned to get in here touch. and then you will need to get in touch. So we've got quite a few winners mm. today. Yeah. So last episode, so we, we had a little giveaway. From Unravel. Joe picked I up went an Unravel. To Unravel. And I got a few little goodies. There's a, there's a little thing inside there as well. So some needle stoppers, a little notions pouch, a little tin. What is she wearing a hat with sheep on? Which I yeah. think is just adorable. And I think this is going to America. Ooh. Because the winner is Peace Love Harmo Knit. And she so. wrote that she hadn't actually been. Our, qu our question was tell us your favourite yarn show. I don't think she's been to any. She said, I haven't made many yarn shows. I'm a bit nervous in large crowds. So I'm going to have to say with a slightly local show, stay with a slightly local show of Kentucky Sheep and Fiverr Festival in Kentucky, USA. Sounds amazing to me. <laughs> it's not too crazy crowded and plenty of yummy squish. <laughs> so love, peace, love, harmo knit. Yeah, get in touch. Kentucky is one of the places that I go to. I have mm. a really good friend in Kentucky. Yeah. Um, I can't think of the name of the place they live. They've moved. Um... But every couple of years... They used to live in Ohio, didn't they? They used to live near Cincinnati, right? which is 
So they're just the other side of the, um, the river into Kentucky. Um, yeah, so let us so know lovely, your... that's lovely that that's yes. going there. Email me. Rachel, Rachel picked this to shoot through. Yeah, random, it, random comment generator. Picker, sorry. Yeah. And generator. <laughs> and um, <laughs> you let us know. <laughs> I just made... Uh, generate some random yeah. comments. Um, and, yeah, if you email me your deets, mm. I will get that shipped out to you. And... Finally, at the end of February, the sock along, the year long sock along came to an end, and we picked a winner. Random number generator this time. Oh, actually, I asked you know who to pick a number. <laughs> and the number was 14, and the winner is RMW18. So if you'd like to get in touch, you will win. You've won this Lysandra and Olive is a project bag and some. Five 20 gram minis in there. So I haven't opened them, so it's going to be yeah. a total surprise. But we've also going to throw in this skein of botanical, botanical yarn. yarn in the colorway Midsummer Day, which is beautiful, which is like pale teals and greens yeah, it's gorgeous. and gorgeous purples. Oh, it is beautiful. So that will be coming to you. So let me know. I'm sure I've sent something to you in the past, or so might, might, it might just have been a pattern, but get in touch yeah. and then we have two we have january we very very lapsed on our team did we not do january no. oh that's so bad so we, it's not the end of march yet so we're not picking marches so we're doing january and february so um, in our we ravelry, only podcast didn't we once in oh yeah you know, was, in our ravelry group yeah we have a thread to show us any of your t and p pattern whips Jeez, fos dingy. should i put the lights on um we could do Alexa, dining on. That's a bit better. better. Yeah, a bit warmer. Sorry, I was feeling a bit. Um, um, yeah. 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 So in our Ravelry group, if you if you are knitting any of our patterns, you can post in that thread, mm -hmm. and you'll be in with a chance to win a pattern. Yeah. And it's this is the one where it's not our pattern, isn't it? No, this is the one. Yeah, we will the winner. For each, <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, each Sorry. if you if we pick because we pick them ourselves. From the, from the it's not a random thing it's us going through and saying oh i love that one i love that mm -hmm. one so if so your the prize for this pick this from the our our um tmp whip or whatever group yeah. thread <laughs> oh my god <laughs> what's wrong with me today is a prize is a pattern from any pattern from ravelry up to value of 10 pounds so doesn't if you want one of our prizes, our prizes, our patterns, that's lovely. But you don't have to pick one of our patterns. Pick somebody else's pattern, please, and let me know what you'd like. And the winner of for January. January is Mary Claire, and she is knitting Jomo socks and a Simon shawl, and they are both beautiful. And then February's winner is Occupied Bear, and she was knitting a Morris shawl mm. in a beautiful colorway of Malabrigo. I think it was called Solace, actually. Wow. Yeah. I'll just have to look that up. Yeah. So um, if you would like to get in touch with us on and let us know which pattern you would like, I will sort that out for you. So that is all the admin there. Although we were going to talk about the new cow, which we haven't actually talked about between ourselves. Well, vaguely. Yeah. We talked about how it, knitting the, one of the family. Are we going to start on the 1st of April? Yes. Will we have podcast again by then? No. No. So we could do something on Instagram, but um, we've got a number of patterns now that are named after members of our family. So it's a shawl, going to be a shawl. Knit we have got one pair of socks. Oh yeah. Morris socks. And Maggie socks. Yeah. Maggie's part of the family. We're, we're including Maggie. So that is... Morris, Cecil, Simon, mm. Maggie, Fizz, Fizzy Pop, Fizzy Pop, Fizzy Pop's name after our granddad, granddad Pop. Um, there's a Carol and a shawl. Mm -hmm. um, there's how are we going to run it like till September or something through the summer? Yeah, because then there's going to be a Morris Carol coming out, yep. 
and yeah, so we'll Ruth. keep we'll keep talking about it as we yeah. go along. And Maggie. So there's lots of options. Yeah. We'll put we'll put in the in the Ravelry group. We'll, we'll put a little list of what's included, yeah. what you can knit as part of the cow. And um, it, this one will be an FO. Winners will get have to knit an FO. I yeah, because we did. We've done. There'll be a prize for joining in, and there'll be a prize for finishing. Cool the thing. Yeah. So there'll be a chat thread and an FO thread in the Ravelry group, and the prize will come mm -hmm. from the Ravelry group. That yeah. was the easiest for me to pick, actually. Mm -hmm. And also. Um, now it's gone from my head. The remember that if you watch the podcast, there's a bonus code in the show notes for you to get a discount. Yeah. So if you haven't got any of the, if you, if you need to buy a pattern to join in, the only ones that you don't get a discount on are Maggie because she is a charity pattern for Maggie's Oxford and and Ruth is going to be a charity yeah, pattern and the socks are yeah the Maggie socks are a charity pattern as well. So, yeah, right. So that's the, that will start on or yeah. April the 1st and we will go on in, live on Instagram. And, and talk I about am knitting, going to be knitting a new Cecil. I'm, I also want to knit another Morris. I want to knit, I'm knitting a, <laughs> I'm knitting a Simon at the moment, which you'll see later, but I want, I want to knit another Simon and I want to knit fizzy, my fizzy pop mm. from the Bird Street yarn. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. We might throw in a month where you get a bonus if you're knitting in Bird Street and then another yeah. month where you, knit, you get a bonus if you're knitting in Botanical. Yeah, we can give some yarn away. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, what am I wearing? What are you wearing? <laughs> yours is an FO. Yeah. I finally blocked my beige, huge, I like to call it so, a moo moo. <laughs> <laughs> so what was it based on? So I think if you pull it back slightly, it would be What's my hair? Um, it is it's knitted in my favourite yarn, well, commercial yarn, which is Katia Merino Tweed sock yarn, mm. which is discontinued. And I was hoarding it, and Joe was like, why don't you just knit it? So I did. So it was, I started off, it's beautiful. It's like a beach. Yeah, is it? It's like all different... Yeah, or pebbles, or something. and it's been in the washing machine. Does it have a and colour? It's, oh, it doesn't know. It's work. beige. Just it is beige. It's called beige. Excuse me. I always think that's a real shame. Um, let me have a set. Oh, I'm a bit of a. So, how many balls did you use? I used. I just into my fourth ball. So you've got. You could make a hat or yeah, or socks. socks. Yeah, I've already got my whistle, first ever pair of whistle down mm. socks when this is it. But it's. So it started off with the numbers for the Love Pecan. And then... Ooh, who's the Love Pecan? The Love like? Pecan. We'll add it to the show. Yeah. Then. I'm sure it's already in the show. And then I ended up using the yoke. Oh, this is the one that I got really confused when I was writing yeah, the notes. Yeah, it's the yoke <laughs> numbers for the Arwin, which is... A, and it has a lace, which I didn't obviously didn't do. Um, but then I did move them around because... In the Arwen, you don't increase in the lace section, which is like 30 something rows. Mm. So I evened my yeah. increases out. And I actually think I knitted it too. I like it. I like it, but the, here it just feels a bit big. Mm. I and know. I kind of wish it was, I'd done a raglan. Right. Not a present, not a circular. Yeah. Room. But, you know, it's comfy. It's Are you warm. happy that you did short sleeves? Yes, I am. I like it. I don't think I'll ever wear it without something, something underneath. underneath, but I do. I, I don't really think like you it. would with a turtleneck. No. So I've got four skeins of the black tweed mm. and I'm thinking of doing a V-neck boxy. Wait, do you see my whip? Oh, yeah. But I've got something else for that. Oh, right. Okay. And um, <laughs> a V-neck boxy and maybe so not doing any... a pattern by Hohe oh, yeah, and Hohe Hohe and there's different versions of it. Yeah. The V-neck one is not... I think you, you, that's top down. Yes, I want to do it top down. Yeah. We worked out that I haven't had a haircut for nearly a year. And it's... Yeah. Getting annoying. Anyway, <laughs> that's what I'm wearing. Finally did it. It was it sat in the bag that we... Well, with all my stuff from podcasting, from like two podcasts ago, mm. so like January... And um, 
that I find you. And it, is it dried even in a nice? Day? Um, well, now it's been washed. Oh yeah, it's lovely. It, when you wash it in the washing machine, mm. yeah. My socks. I've got. I've got a grey pair. Of, when I first, the first, when I first, um, before I designed, or actually wrote a design up, I knitted the. Um, I wrote a pattern for a sock class I was going to teach, and it was. I knitted them in the grey, and they've been in the washing machine so many times, and they're beautiful. They look absolutely lovely. So I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Washing the, washing this, and uh, yeah, so we're in the beige club mm, today, aren't we? We are. So now we're ready to move on to our FO because mm. Joe is wearing an FO. Yeah. In fact, she was going to put all her FOs on <laughs> just I for might, the thumbnail. I might do it at, after I've shown them. Yeah, gla yeah. gradually because we're yeah. we are in, on to FOs, aren't we? Yeah. So go on then. So this is my olive cardigan. Oh my god, it looks like a by. Old. Um, Hovi Locatelli. I made some um, quite significant mods. Yeah, so the sleeves are shorter. I wanted them this length so that I can wear um, different top. They are like no, they that they like that shape on the. Yeah, they're that shape, but they're to the wrist. To the wrist. Um, and then I also cut a load off the bottom. Um, because I, I think it comes down here, mm -hmm. and I don't want. I it's so cute want... with the, because you knit the, that's knitted as you go, isn't it? Yeah, got a bit of fluff there. Um, so yeah, so this yarn is um, the, the yarn that I got at Yarndale from Laxton's. It's their BFL Masham undyed, isn't it? Uh, this is the undyed. Yeah, they. Um... Have you got the info with you? Did you bring a little book? No. Oh, it's in the other room. But anyway, um, it's the middle colour that they do. Oh, so that. they blend. There's definitely... A, I bought an ombre, didn't I? Mm. Set as well. Um, I used... I was just into the fourth skein. Mm. See, when you... Um, when you literally before, like that much... I yeah, when you had it before, I didn't ever thought the, the drop shoulders and stuff. I thought that they looked like they yeah. were going to be up there. And it's, it's washed. It. It's blocked and washed. It's beautiful. Yeah. It. I. You've got a different gauge on your sleeves than you have, have on your I? body. Yeah. Not much. Here, you can really see it. But it's obviously it's a bit more stretched on there. Stretched there. But Joe, when she when she decided she was going to finish it, you motored through yeah. it, didn't you? Um, somebody at work, I walked to work the other day and somebody thought it was bought. Mm. Um, it's a bit pilly. Right. It's quite a, um airy spun. Is that woolen spun yarn? Mm. Um, but it's it's beautiful and it smells gorgeous. <laughs> I washed it in the new wild mint from um, Soak. Soak. And um, yeah, it's just lovely. It's really warm as well. I'm normally really cold in the office mm. and I had this on over a long sleeve top and I was so cosy all day. <laughs> so yeah, so that's my first FO. I started knitting this in October and then it had a little break while I knit a load of shawls <laughs> <laughs> over Christmas time. Um, yeah, and then I picked up and I did two sleeves in like no time at all. Yeah, a couple of days of meetings yeah it's brilliant i love it Jo. yeah i brought some in for baby right i think it just it's just a bit more stretched mm. when you blocked it that you can block more that way than you yeah. can yeah i didn't sleeve. want to block the no. sleeves any longer no. yeah so um yeah that's so it now once you've finished a, a sweater you can cast on another one can't you yeah so i have i did straight away <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> So I am going to talk about the whip, the, the whip as I finished first. So I didn't actually, I only cast this on this year. So I cast this on on the 11th of January and I finished it on the 25th of, of, of February. So just after we'd finished, mm -hmm. after we podcast, I think. Mm -hmm. I haven't blocked it. So cute. I need to um, give it a steam, I think, to unblock. Oh, I don't know. I think it looks fine. Yeah, it fit. It, I mean, you just want to. She just want to even the stitches yeah. up a tiny bit. 
So this is my Musselboro, which is a pattern by Isolde de Teague, if you've been living under a rock. <laughs> and um, it's knitted in botanical yarn. Everyone's welcome in my garden. Everyone's welcome in my garden. And it's just this beautiful tonal grey with lovely pops of, you know, and this was from Unravel. This is the Unravel colourway in 2021. The first Unravel after lockdown, which is when we met Sophie <laughs> Chemical Yarn for the first time. And I love it. Although this skein, I knitted a pair of socks and she had them in the skein that I bought. So, and, she, and I said to her, I'll have the socks back. She's like, I wear them. <laughs> so she gave me another skein of yarn. But it's lovely. I don't, I'm, I like a speckle for these mm. because. Um, a variegated Yeah, and you can get pooling and stripes don't work unless you actually do two different yarns and you're cutting stripes or mm. losing stripes, which is what I do plan to do next for my next one, because it's always nice to have one on the needles. And you're going to notice a theme that everything I'm knitting is stuck in stitch. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the first one I've actually kept, I think. So I've knitted Dad well, one. Well, you knit them on purpose. Yeah, I knit Dad one and knit Robert one. You knit a green one that you end up giving me because yeah, it's too small. small. And I've knitted a blue one which is too big, which I need to, I don't know if I'm going to use it up. Maybe it's fine. Yeah, so that's, um, that's whip, whip. That's echo number one. You also have a hat, I can mm. see there. Which is, how many of those have you knitted? Um, this is the third one. Blue? Oh, four, Sophie. Yeah. And bright pink for Sophie. Mm. And then... The Vintage Antique, Antique romance. romance, Valentine, Antique Valentine, <laughs> and Pampas Grass. I yeah. roll my eyes at you. And then this me. is just a double knit. And that's what I'm going to do, knit, the knit a double knit. Um, and this is in Herd Yarn, which is a Scottish yarn, um, low mileage mm -hmm. yarn. Put it on there. Um, so cute. I love it. Although <laughs> the other day I wore this with my coat and my Mor my beige Morris. Yeah. I felt like a real bad lady. <laughs> <laughs> I, that. I think it's more so the coat. At the moment, but, um, the pattern, you can only get the pattern from Botanical Yarn when you purchase a kit. A kit. So it is the Sophie hat. So Sophie have selling a kits which are um, fingering weight and mohair. Which is the original, wasn't it? Yeah. So um, have a look on her website. But I guess if you if you asked her and you wanted to do just one in double knitting, oh, I'm sure she would sure. probably so, uh, accommodate yeah. you. So um, we'll put her de the details in the show notes. Mm -hmm. Shall I leave this on and yeah, do the I next? Think yeah. Are yeah. you doing those and then I'll do? Well, no, because I'll just do these. Okay, you do that. So my my final fo since the last podcast is the Ruth Shaw. So this um, has been designed to be a charity pattern for, and the money will be going to the LAM, which is a Bangladesh. hospital in Bangladesh, um, or charity in Bangladesh, which they run a hospital. They do lots of other things as well. I'm reading their newsletter. Mm -hmm. um, and they were our charity for December. Yeah, we gave some money, we gave all of our pattern sales to them in December. But we wanted to be able to continue, like continue to give because it's yeah. amazing. They, they basically, I think the money we gave was going towards midwifery mm -hmm. care, and they, um, like a, a C section is one hundred and fifty pounds, mm -hmm. and that was so. like saves the mother and the child. Yeah. So um, yeah, we wanted to just carry on supporting that. So I designed this this shawl, which has got this little pop of yellow in for um ruth from ruth loves to knit podcast yellow is her favorite color and L lamb is a charity that she used to work for mm. and she still supports um which is how we heard about them which yeah. is how we heard about them 
So we wanted to, I wanted to add the, bit, the hint of yellow. Um, and then the base colour is linen by in Regia, Regia Premium Silk. Sock yarn. Um, so it's merino, I, guess, I think it's merino yarn. And, yeah, it's merino and silk. silk. And it's, it's blocked out just absolutely mm. beautifully. So there's a, a rib border with this little pop of yellow and a little lace kind of eyelet along the edge. And then this lacy flower where you slip some stitches to get the, the little um, centre bit there and some um, eyelets. And then that just repeats into a an asymmetric triangle. Mm, so be wary this way around. Yeah. And then I've tried to replicate the border on the other edge. And when I blocked it, I realised actually it needs a couple more rows of the of the cream to make the size the same. So that in the pattern, that will be correct. That will be correct. I anything. am not. I've already done this little edge twice and I'm not doing it again. <laughs> so mine will be perfectly imperfect. Mm -hmm. um, it's already perfectly imperfect mm -hmm. down that end. Um, but this edge caused me more hassle than it should have. But what I ended up doing was a sewn bind off. Um, Elizabeth Zimmerman, Zimmerman's sewn bind off. Um, because every other cast off I tried created too firm an edge for the mm -hmm. eyelets to show. So, um, that's so, and it didn't, it wasn't, it was actually very quick, mm -hmm. um, despite the number of stitches that you have. So, do you think you would do another row? No, I think it's fine. Okay. I think it will look, it mimics the, that edge. Yeah. Um, so, but there, I mean, I'll, I'm thinking of adding a couple of options that people could try if they didn't want to do that. So you could just bind off and not do the eyelets, you, or you could do a crochet. Um, but I don't actually know how to do that. So um, um, I will help with that. We'll add um, when we when it goes into testing, which I'll put probably put the test call up next weekend. Mm -hmm. um, it's all happening next. Week. I know when it goes into testing. Or the weekend after, it's not, it's not going to be a massive rush. Um, different testers could try out different bits if they wanted and then mm -hmm. we could find out which people like. Yeah. Um, but you wear it like this. So I, I like to, it's quite a long drop. So I like to fold it over a little bit mm -hmm. as I do with most things because it gives you a bit of a firmer um, edge. edge. So either just like that, yeah. with the one side like you can or I scoopy that underneath and then just tie it if you don't want it to fall off like if you're not if you want it to stay in place while you're with it under a coat or um with a de like a denim jacket I think it would look really nice with a denim jacket um just like that yeah now we've got to sleep our poor no no Joe wearing all my FOs. <laughs> that's the title. All my FOs, I've got one more. That's the title of the. <laughs> Should we put some hair out so it looks yeah. a bit. <laughs> there we go. Thumbnail. I'll have to find that one. Yes. What was your other FO? My other FO is my Morris Carol. Oh, right, okay. Let me talk about my socks then. I'm going to take Ruth off while so I I've, prepare for that. I have finished. So I had one pair of socks on the needles when, I think I just started them when we last podcast. And um, these were my third yeah. pair of linen socks for this year. Um, and, no, that's wrong. Are you just doing linen socks this year? Yeah. <laughs> these are, I started them on the 24th of February and I finished them on the 29th of February. So just in time for February. And they are my <laughs> skein and the stitch um, socks in the oh, colourway ages ago. So there are oh, two. Oh, they're lovely. There are two. And You've got some leftovers for my North yeah. Easterly. Yeah, I have. <laughs> it's in the bag of 
I've got a bit of little balls of yarn for you. Yep, so there's two of those, so they're just my standard vanilla. And then on the 1st of March, so when I started every year, every month, I have a page in my book where I have a whip roundup. So March's whip roundup was nothing. Everything was off my oh, needles wow. for the first time ever. Wow. So they were all new, so all, new, celebrate. all new cast ons. So on the first, I cast on the fifth pair. So those were my fourth pair of vanilla socks for 2024. So I cast on my fifth pair, which was in some yarn, which I dyed. Oh, yeah. And I knitted. Did you dye that here or did you dye that? Oh, I dyed here? that here with you, yeah. So this is, and I, I, in, I've already knitted a love note with short sleeves with mohair and this. So there's two of them. Oh, I had anything thing of sock blocker. Does that love note fit you? No. Would it fit me? Yeah. Probably. That's nice. I might have to nab that. So <laughs> I finished those in six days. So they were oh, like hospital knitting, which is quite... And we didn't write down what you did, handy. so we would never be able to replicate that yarn. No. <laughs> <laughs> we were just experimenting, yeah. weren't we? I, kind, I did like a, a wash all over with grey and then purple, mm. dilute. And then I did spring, sprinkles, speckles of green and purple. Nice. Very Wimbledon. <laughs> and then as soon as I cast those off I cast on vanilla socks number six and I so the next day seventh I cast them on the seventh and I finished them on the 14th and these are in the beautiful and I think this is only the second pair of socks I've ever knitted in the knitting shed Ainsworth and Prin classic sock and this is the colourway opal. Yes, there's some in your box. <laughs> and it's just this beautiful oh, tonal. Gorgeous. Yeah. And their classic sock is 80 20. And a, um, a you bit can shorter. actually see the difference in the texture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is, that is thicker, but it's 75, mm. I think. Didn't write that down. Well, it was what it was. Obviously, the the different colour means you kind of see the stitches more. Mm. I think. Yeah, this one I loved because each stitch looked like it was washed out, like the mm. the core was. I don't know. It was just there yeah. was just beautiful yarns in it. With like it was like a grey wash over everything, and then those. That yarn is just beautiful to mm. do it. So if you can get your hands on some knitting shed, mm. Ainsworth and Prince, that's the label. And it is a bit less meterage, so 365. So if you're knitting a big man, like a man's pair of socks, you mm. might struggle. But oh, I just love that little pop of blue. Yeah, and then there's a gorgeous on the heel. I noticed when I was doing it, there's like orange. Oh, yeah. yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. So those are oh. all my FOs and everything stop and stitch, but then that seems to be what my brain yeah. can cope with at the moment. As I have cast on another pair, which I will show <laughs> you in there. So when I finished Ruth, I picked up my I looked through my pile of whips and I realised that didn't have that much to go on the Morris cowl. So I have finished that. So you're going to have to do a test knit for that as well? Yeah, the pattern's nowhere near written. Oh, okay. The pattern's nearly written for Ruth. Um, so the Morris cowl is knit in Knitting for Olive Pure Silk in the colourway Lamb's Ear. Lamb's Ears. <laughs> knitting for olive and it's beautiful yarn apart from it's a little bit splitty and that's just the plied mm -hmm. nature of it um and i'm i'm really sorry to say this to you you don't like it it looks like a dishcloth to me 
or like a it hasn't been washed yet because it because of the ribbing that pat texture mm. i really i wish you'd picked a different color like a green or something or even paler maybe mm. no but i really like it, does. it. yeah <laughs> no i love the pattern i'm not saying that but i just think it just looks like a not something i just don't like the silk i think mm. i've knit a couple of things in it i think it's okay for like camisoles and things like that mm. but i've knit a couple of things in it. like a, a sh another short i knit the rhubarb it is, is in it. it see that color's lovely mm. it's help you do you want to get your hair wet i really like the oh, I like the oh yeah morris is beautiful so i think in the summer with a white t-shirt mm. i think for me i mean it silk ad normally silk adds a sheen and that is so that that yarn's dull mm. i don't know sorry to no it's all right i just um i think joe's gonna knit everybody's one in, entitled to their opinion and joe's gonna knit one in wool aren't you to see if you can get yeah it. well it actually took i had to go into the third ball so it's over 500 meters so it's like 500 and because the each of these is 250 meters mm -hmm. Um, like their merino. So it's well over a, a so you skein. You know you're wearing of, it with that, it does look nice. It's well over a skein of yarn, and I wanted it to be a skein. So what mm. I did, what I'd already or two done... Balls of, or two balls of... Uh, li, yeah. yeah. What, I, what I'd already done was reduce down the length of it from the fizzy part right. by two inches. But what I haven't then also anticipated was adding this on the bottom yeah. so it's used the same amount of yarn right <laughs> as yeah. the fizzy pop used so what i was thinking was actually you don't need you probably don't need that much yeah of the back so i was going to make that six yeah. inches rather than 10 inches and then you would get it out and of then the i think you'd get it out of a skein so i that's what my plan is for the and I'm going to use a skein of yarn that I bought in New England when I was on holiday. I can't remember the name of it, but I will bring it to the next podcast. I just noticed that your earrings look like knit stitches. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're, they're from the little shop in Bedminster yeah. that you can go and visit next week. <laughs> um, but I just love this. I'm knitting, I'm knitting this pattern again. It's just remind. I haven't blocked this yet, by the way, either. It's just reminding me how much Maybe I Maybe I should knit a Morris because I haven't. Morris. I've not knitted a Morris. I gave up because I don't mm. like the yarn. In the green, maybe the green and don't do fizzy pop with it. Do a Morris mm. with it. So um, I got so a yeah. Morris for the next winter. So this is yeah. So this is going to be written up. Um, so you Ruth know. first, and then Ruth first, yeah. and then Morris Cowell, yeah. and there'll be test calls. I, obviously, I need to knit the other one to make sure I can yeah. get it out of the skein, and then there'll be a test call. Yeah, and it's also nice to have one at a time on. As yeah, a when you're trying to organise a test call. Yeah. It's, so. Yeah. Um, so is that yeah easy? doing the power of three and having three lots of Don't stuff? Cram it in that bag. Why not? Nice little bag. It's a nice little bag. Yarn. Your ability to get a project into a little bag. <laughs> <laughs> um, so next, are we going to talk about that or are we going to talk about whips? I think we'll talk about whips. Okay. We might talk about this lip gloss. <laughs> just, a funny little, just a funny little story. So I don't know if any of you have watched The Grocery Girls yet from last week. They were talking about Glossier Ultra Lip and I was saying to Joe, well, we were both saying, weren't we? Mm. I really want one. <laughs> and then I looked in a bag of lip glosses and stuff that I've got down the side of my chair and I found one. <laughs> so this is Glossier Ultra Lip, but it is in a very pale mm. colour called Lucite. I don't think you picked this. I think it came in something. Oh, okay. Well, I um, think you would have picked a darker. Yeah, slightly darker. But I... I do like it mm. and I think that there will so be... So I went to have a look at the website mm -hmm. and they had 20% off 
Oh, so you bought some? I bought two. I bought one in, a, a, it's called Burnt Orange, or Blood Orange, which I thought was very appropriate with Simon. Um, and then the other one I've got is like a brown, like a taupey brown mm -hmm. colour. So but they're quite nice because you can build up the colour, so you can have it really sheer. Yeah. Or you can build up. And it colour. is very moisturising, I would mm. say. So how many whips have you got? I have three. I have got four, but two are, two are linked okay. to each other. So, shall I start with Simon? Let's start with Simon because uh, the others are socks and things. But they're all living in my home heat purple pamper bucket, which I love. Right, so Simon is living in my bed of roses project bag that Joe bought me for my birthday. It's got the pink linen on the back and I tied a little ribbon on it that came with me. But I wasn't very clever and I got stung with a lot of duty. Oh. But you know. So I am knitting my third Simon and it's quite a oh, like a good kind of like a it, what's I'm trying to say? project that has meaning, mm -hmm. shall we say. So I am on just about to start section four. Um, so I cast, when did I cast him in? Oh, he is nice with no hair. Isn't yeah, he? he's lovely with no hair. The third of, of March, cast him on. And so my main colour is this Drops Flora. Whoops. And this is the colourway Sand. And then my mohair, is drops kid silk and it's North Sea, so it's sand and sea, <laughs> and they look gorgeous together, don't they? Mm. It's so fluffy. I don't know if you can see, and it's so soft. And people have lately, I've heard people complaining about drops mohair, but this is I don't know if they've got it. In, they use different mills. It's just lovely. So I'm. So you're now. That's as wide as he's going to get. Yeah. yeah. So I've got to do the middle. Yeah, the section long. four is long on Simon. But it's okay. I'm enjoying it. If you're him. enjoying your yarn. Yeah, and I'm then, enjoying him. Yeah. And you just, I just love the, you can see, you probably can't see, but the silk in the mohair. Oh, it's a very slightly different. Has thing. dyed, has picked up the dye. It's very difficult to, you can, our faces are going to. Anyway, the, go the core, <laughs> the core of the mohair. Oh, it's darker. It's ever so, it's dyed, and it's also got the shine of the mm. silk. So when you look at the closely at the little hound's tooths, they have this little sheen to them. They're beautiful. Mm. So yeah, so that's um, my only shawl, shawl that I'm knitting at the moment, and I'm using my matching stoppers, <laughs> needle stoppers from Botanical Yarns. Yeah, so he's. I wanted to get him finished for flock next weekend, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm no, knit, that long I think I might be section. knitting on him at flock. That long middle section. But the info about the yarn will be because, of course, drops these colours, these numbers mm -hmm. as well. They do. They call them colours on the on their on the website. website. Yeah. And just to say, if you're interested in drops. In summer yarn to knit, start knitting your summer projects. Their cotton is on sale mm -hmm. all month, all this month. Well, and for a month, I think starting from now. Yeah. Yeah. So my whip first whip is. Um, I'm going to show you what I've all what I've, what were whips last time. Right. And this is the socks that I'm knitting. Um, and I'd just started the. Yeah. Stocking stitch, and, and I you wasn't didn't like sure it. I said do an inch, didn't yeah. I? Yeah, and um, it's okay. It's lovely. I just don't know whether it's my colour. Well, I think that's given, possibly given my own. Yeah, that's think, possibly. I think uh, Fee, oh, Fee P might like them. Yeah. You um, finish them by the fifth of sixth of April. I don't know if that will happen, but yeah, it's the um, first one. Yeah, this is the first one, and I've only just done. I haven't started them. 
You've had to stop the heel. I've had to stop the heel. So it is um, La Bienna May in the colourway. Is it 7520? Kind. It's her um, mer Merino Super Sock in 75% 70, superwash merino, 25% nylon in the colourway Andromeda. You know, I really think everyone gets their stuff from the same place. And they just charge more for their dyeing. I don't know whether they do get it all from the same place. There's lots of different mills. Yeah. It I mean, it's a very similar spec. It feels like... Well, just, possibly. Yeah. Some people do. It's beautiful, though. And it's got this, like, grey-beige base. Yeah. And with then speckles and the speckles of the pink yeah. and lilac. It's lovely. I just have been... Um, once you get past the... Once you've done the heel flap, mm. you just need to do that. Yeah. Maybe do it this afternoon when you're Snapchatting to me. Yeah. And then... That's it. I've not had... I've not had time to just do that. Yeah. And then be able to move on to the foot. But yeah. So that's in my cocoon tree one of my cocoon mm -hmm. tree bags lovely that i got at yarndale as well lovely. i know that's the other one i got at, at yarndale gorgeous um it's got its label in a different place i think i like the label there rather yeah. than there yeah because you can kind of see it better mm. can't you yeah so that's the that's whip number one and then i'm using a beautiful bag that joe brought me back from florida Beautiful Sisters. This is from, oh, what's it called? Four Pearls? Yeah, Four Pearls um, Yarn Shop. And I cast... They're the home of Emma's yarn. Yeah, you bought me, a, you bought me some Emma's yarn, didn't you? Mm. So I'm using, I all, this is actually... It's actually nice to you, you know. I'm very nice to you, shall we say? Maybe well, not you, too I nice. don't go anywhere. <laughs> I could be. I could be nicer. I don't go anywhere to buy anything for you. Mm. Right. I need, okay. I need glasses while I'm looking at this. So this is an, an acquisition, actually, and it's from Lovecrafts. I bought it from Lovecrafts, but it's Lana Grosser about Berlin yak, yak color block, and I think. That's a website or a, a yarn shop. Yarn shop. You know, a yarn shop or a yarn show. Hmm. Anyway, and I've wound it into a ball so you can't really see the colours, but I have knitted each colourway. I started these on Friday. So there's four colours, is there? Four there's five. No, yesterday. Five, five stripes. stripes. Yeah. So I decided, having the last time I knitted Dad's stripy socks, I knitted 16 rounds as I normally knit for his cuff. And it was halfway through a stripe. And then I carried on the striping stoppage and did not like, like how it looked. So this time I decided to knit to the end of a stripe before I started the leg. And so it's a very long, it's a very cuff. long cuff. It's 20 rows because each of these is 12. And then this one, and the other thing I should have done was wound on to the first full stripe because that isn't a full stripe. So for the second sock, I am gonna to have to try and finagle that somehow. Unless we end the toe with a little bit of that. Mm. And then we'll be on it. <laughs> so the leg, I just literally did the five stripes, the five different colors. And it looks, it looks so much like you've used different yarns mm. because it's like a mottled one, a mild one, a tonal, a speckly one, another tone, you know. And then, amazingly, one of the stripes did the whole heel, heel flap. So, and now I've just done the heel turn and I'm um, just about to start the gusset. I've done one decrease, I think. But I do have some lovely stitch markers that I found. <laughs> so I've got this little bird that I made. 
oh, when I was cute. thinking about making stitch markers for a living before I got reti my retirement. Have you got a little turquoise? Yeah. Have a look. You can have it when it comes and I'll take it off if you want. Oh, very cute. Have you got, not got any more? Um, I've got some more birds, I think, in my tray of tricks. Um, and this was on a necklace and I just put it onto a stitch marker. So it's quite a Mexican mm. looking thing. And then this is a one that was a bought one, but it's a little cat that's like a bell. Is it irritated? No. Chris and I used to walk to work it's behind very this cute. woman who used to have an ankle that, that had a bell on it. <laughs> that's annoying. <laughs> So yeah, so um, they are my next vanilla socks and I'm planning, this is the third pair for this month and I'm planning to do another one, four pairs this month, hopefully. Mm. Yeah, so love it. I particularly like this navy blue. Of course oh. you do. Yes. <laughs> so. And the other whip that I I have got my Maggie, which I've done a very little bit on, um, so I'm not you can't tell the difference, so I'm not going to be able to show that. But um, this is my other whip that's had a little bit of love, um, that was all, that already existing whip, and this is my North Easterly, and I this is what I did donating a couple of all the little yeah, ones so to. Rachel. Um, the turquoise ones are the start of the yarn that Rachel's given me, I think. Although that might be, is that yours, the gold? Yeah, I think so. Um, so I was measuring this again, because I want it as a lap blanket. And I think by the time I've finished that, and then I'm going to add, oh well, the yarn to the wool kitchen. That on the end. That'll be long enough. That will be long enough. And then these three um, will start the second the second rung. Cool. Oh. There. Yeah. Lovely. Um, and that's just a few that I picked up. Well, it's down. so easy, so isn't I've it? Got... Just to carry them a few round with you and then Yeah. Well, that's what I that's what I thought. In a little Ikea snack bag, <laughs> <laughs> which they don't really need to make anymore. I really like those. Anyway, yeah, that's, so that's the North Easterly. So every now and again, I take I take its work for those moments when I can't do a full row of, some mm -hmm. other, of something else. Um, or I haven't got a sock in a position that I can... Uh... Yeah, no, it's lovely. So that progress keeper doesn't mark where you were last time. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, it might quite a good way of showing it but then you have to probably work on yeah. it so. so hopefully next time there will be a second stripe well that um started it's beautiful inside that bag yeah so this is also a cocoon tree bag and i love this fabric yeah. and then inside it's got this ditzy oh, is it liberty is it ditzy flower i don't think so no Looks more like cat kids, but it also um, is just on the oh, yeah. very well made, aren't they? Mm. They are Amy Palco's auntie. Yeah. yeah, I've got one more whip. I've got two, but they are linked. So I wasn't 100% sure whether I was going to show this or not because it's a new design but it's a charity pattern. So, and I had hoped that I would have finished the, um, I, was trying, gonna, I was trying to finish the first sock before I showed it, but, so I have designed the sock for Myeloma this summer, which is a pattern that we've done three years running. Mm -hmm. Not a pattern, a different design each year. Yeah, um, something we supported. Yeah, so I've done a sock and Joe did have done two. The first year we had one sock 
And then the second year and the third year, we've had a cowl yeah. and a sock. And we're, we're having a cowl and a sock this year as well. And I'm using um, Coop Knit Socks, yeah. I'm just going to say Coop, yeah. <laughs> Coop Knit Socks, yeah, in quartz and argon for my orange, because my Loma colour is orange. And, but it's a very subtle pattern. So it's this slip stitch kind of wrap texture and then we've done two, just two stripes. Joan's been helping me decide we've what to do. We've a lot of debate, haven't mm. we? <laughs> so the cuff's quite long, this yarn is quite thin. So I'm knitting it on 2.25 needles. But when I've measured my gauge, even though it's not blocked yet, it's the same. So I don't mm. quite understand. Anyway, it's a very <laughs> small difference, isn't it? Between 2.25 and 2.5, but yeah. So if you you can see the texture on these two stripes, and then the heel is in the orange, and then there's going to be two stripes before, before the, the toe. toe, and the toe is going to be quartz. So they that pattern will be. I'll be asking for a few people to test it. Um, obviously, I've got my main test knitter Maggie. Um, she will knit you knitting them and a few other people. But I also thought, save Joe the hassle, and we're going to use the same pattern that I would just do a cowl the same, but in DK. So this is using drops tweed, soft tweed, in mm -hmm. mar uh, marzipan and carrot cake, mm -hmm. which isn't as orange. It looks up. Orange, orange in real life. Yeah, it does look like carrot cake, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think. Um, did it look really orange on the? Well, there was only one orange. Oh right. So I went for that. I Obviously, think it's nice. it could be orange, orange yeah. but um, I decided that the main colour would be the marzipan, and then this is the same textured stitch, but because I'm going to be doing. Can I make a comment? Mm -hmm. I think you should have done one repeat of the Marley pan before you did the carrot cake. On its own? Mm. But it's not like on the sock. But it's never going to be on its I can unpick it and do it again, but this is just going to be four by oh, four right, okay. stripes going up the... Oh, right. So it's not going to be the same. Uh, right, okay. As in two stripes of orange and then the rest, mm. and then two stripes in the top. It's going to be... It's right. going to be... Carrot cake, marzipan, carrot cake, marzipan, carrot cake, marzipan. Layered cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's the beginning of it. Um, and those patterns will be coming out in middle of June for Myeloma Awareness Week. Uh, or maybe the beginning of June will be the whole month of June. Mm. Usually the whole month of June we give our sales to Myeloma. So yeah, so that's just started, but I thought I would show you. So if there's anybody who would like to, the pattern's really easy, I can write it. If anyone would like to test, just let us know if you're interested, I suppose, in the comments. I'm not going to do a call on Instagram or anything, because it's yeah, the sock. Yeah, you probably only need two or three. And the sock's people. more complicated than the... Yeah. Yeah. So I will be working on that. So maybe the next podcast, I'll have finished it and we can talk yeah. about it again a bit more. It goes very well with your bag. Yes, it does. So I, so this one's living in, socks living in my, um, it's not pyramid, pyramid, is it? Bag. It's yeah. a pyramid bag from the Little Grey Girl, but it's like a cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, the cow is living in my, floral bear and fox bag from Butternut Handmade from Cheetah Pral to your cobriol um put them all in the I love it the flowers I do flowers just bears beautiful, are just isn't it? gorgeous well the fox has got flowers yeah too. how could you not love a floral bear <laughs> <laughs> I'd like one that somebody's embroidered on mm. well yeah. you can get bigger print of the well, and cut it out and sew it together, making a 
make it a toy? No, I was thinking um, if you could get a bigger, if there's a bigger version of mm -hmm. it, you could put, make a picture. Yeah. Because that embroidering on that would be would be possible, but mm. a bit tricky. If he was like three yeah. times the size, it would be easier to yeah. do. And I just love this fabric as well. I've not done any embroidery for you. It's just like a <laughs> linen denim kind of. Like the, only thing I, the only thing I used to do was cross stitch. Yeah, you did. It? Yeah. But yeah, so we love her bags. She and she definitely supports the podcast. Mm. So yeah. We support her. Yeah, support her. So, so my, that's all my that's my, all my whips. My final whip is a new cast on, which I cast on as soon as I'd um, finished my olive cardigan. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, the minute. <laughs> I might even have done it before I'd finished. Mm. And this is living. I in think he did <laughs> my um, cord massive cord project bag from So Yarn Delicious. Um, I saw, I think Sophie, it was, yarn, the one that's, it was for the first Yorkshire Yarn Fest. It wasn't Yarn Fest. Wasn't Yorkshire, Yorkshire. No, it wasn't Yorkshire Yarn Fest because they, she was vending. She was actually, anyway, well, maybe it was, it was. A yarn it was a different venue, venue yeah. where she's going. Um, and I, Sophie sort of took us round and we picked, we things. picked things and I picked this jumbo cord mustard. I like the um, project bag. I like leather. Mm. And it's um, holding my big cone of British Merino from Woolly Knit. Oh, it's beautiful. In the colour Kozeka Gold. Did you show it? I think it might be the Kozeka Gold. There you go, that's the colour. And I have, ever since I got that, I have been wanting to knit a four ply. It's four ply. Yeah. Um, fingering weight. Fingering weight raglan. Felix. Raglan. Um, yeah, and I thought about putting the Felix lace onto the raglan, mm -hmm. and that's what I've done. But what I've also done is I am knitting it at um, a slightly higher, on a slightly bigger needle size, mm -hmm. so a slightly area. Gauge. So it's a four millimeter. So I knit it. I, I did the the rib on a three and a half millimeter, and the rest of it on a four millimeter. Can I just say? Can I just make a comment? Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Joe's a very tight knitter. So, not that it's going to be a pattern or anything. No. But if you tried it, she's going to put her mods somewhere, aren't you? I'm going to. Put, I'll create a Ravelry page. It's. Um, Possibly what other people will get on like a 3.5. Is it? Yeah. It's lovely. I'm glad that you went up a needle size because you you are a tight knitter. Mm. So that's my 3.5. Mm. It's definitely looser. Looser. I wanted yeah. a really no, it's beautiful. Airy. So and also it's a I've knit a bit much bigger size than I normally would mm -hmm. knit. Because I I bought a sweater from John Lewis in the sale and I love the shape of it. Uh, mm -hmm. It is V neck, but there you go. Um, but you've modified them. You've done the neck. I wanted a really deep. You've tried line. it on, haven't you? I have tried it on. It looks yeah. great. So what I what I did was I found a fingering weight pattern for a raglan that I like, which is the Material Girl. I've knit it several times. Mm -hmm. uh, the last time I knit it, I knit a th size four, I think, mm -hmm. size three. So I went to a size five. And use those numbers to cast on the neck. Mm -hmm. um, and then I did the short rows, how they do them on the Felix. Mm -hmm. So, because you start the lace in the short rows. Oh, yeah, I'm just remembering your Felix. Yeah, <laughs> you start the lace in the, in the short rows. So I followed exactly what they did, but just with, I roughly worked out... How many stitches they have for the neck, how many like stitches ratios. I had, and I did yeah. the ratio for the shoulder and that Lovely. thing. And I worked out, I've written it all down, so I will mm -hmm. put my beautiful in the thing. Um, and then I worked out. I think I we're going to have a little twin set pearl and pearl. Ruth loves to knit 
Metal on, aren't we? Mm. So I You're then the I worked out. I got the number of stitches that I was going to have at, before I slip for, split for sleeves off the material mm -hmm. girl pattern. And I worked out how many times I was going to have to increase in that in this lace pattern. Yeah, to get the to get, stitches. and I, it was twelve. I needed to do twelve. Sorry to keep on, keep on, you finish your sentences. Yeah. And I don't actually know. I don't know why. Why? <laughs> I know. I can't just sit here. <laughs> so each repeat increases. I want to say 24 stitches on, yeah, eight per, eight per eyelet, or three eyelets, eight six. per eyelet row. 20, oh, yeah, 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 sorry, there's 24. Six, per, like six per thing, I was going to say. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so I had to do 12, and that's how deep the raglan is. It's beautiful, Jenny. So it's going to be quite a deep... Yeah, which is what I wanted. I wanted to be able to wear it over a vest. Such a lovely this way. Yeah, um, and now I'm split for sleeves. They're on um, cocoa knit leather cords because I do not like barber cords. Are you going to try and finish it to get Piggy to South Africa? Um, hopefully, I can't see it's going to take me that long no. to do. Um, and I'm now just whizzing round and round and round. Um, on the body, beautiful. Um, and then yeah, the sleeves aren't going to be because the sleeves actually start fairly. Yeah, it's not low, so it's not like. Yeah. And you you've got some lovely stitch toppers. I have these stitch toppers been bringing me lots of joy. I posted it on Instagram. Um, they're a bit all Achille esque, and they're bright pink. So. The pink looks so good with that. Yeah, get a pink vest. Mm. <sighs> I don't know if I'll be doing that. Pink lipstick. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. yeah so that's my last whip. Yeah. And I love it. This yarn is lovely, and I'm probably going to. And they've done loads since the last podcast, haven't they? Knitted so much. Yeah, I think this is going to be. I mean, I mean, that'll probably enough to knit a shawl. From that 500 gram cream. Mm. So, yeah. Wow. So, that is all of the whips. Yeah. So what do you want to talk about next? I think we'll talk about. We'll talk about um, I haven't got very many acquisitions. Do you want to just pop and get the sample? Shall we talk this? about from Oh, right. Yeah. The that's that's really Did, where's your one of these upstairs? Shall I pop and get that as well? Or not worry. Um, it's slightly easier to see, isn't it? Mm. It's in the pile. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the pile of shawls that I don't wear very often. So what can we talk about while while she's gone? She's gonna. So what? So this is Joe's first design um, that we're going to be talking about, and um, it's called Shallow Arrow. And Joe had been thinking about so these this pop this shape of shawl was quite popular at the time um where you um but, but um the way people increased meant that it did this and joe's joe wanted to knit one where the stitches looked like they were going like this and then you get to a certain start size and then you knit the other um, side of the shawl. So she'd been thinking about it for a while. She had, the original was knit in Bird Street yarn. She had um, like a beige background and a set of minis that she used. I think in the end, it's actually seven colors in the original one. And um, she'd knitted it and we went to You've probably heard the story before if you watched the podcast. We went to Knit City Vancouver and she was wearing it and loads of people were asking where, what it was and she said, oh, I designed it. I was thinking about writing the pattern and everyone was like, yeah, you really should write the pattern. And because Joe unfortunately got a very 
big, very large DVT, deep vein thrombosis in her arm, they wouldn't let us fly home. So we ended up staying in Vancouver for an extra two and a half weeks. And um, while we were there, we reverse engineered shallow arrow mm -hmm. and I knitted it. Um, and this is my version, which was knit. So the original was um, a main colour with minis and I did my main colour as it was a zero wall. That's that way, that end, isn't it? Oh, that's the end. That's the last end. And um, as I like I said, you can so Joe knitted three of it in the end, and that's like a low tonal one. So you can see where you start, the arrow does that, the shawl does that rather than that. So the increases are um, in the middle in the middle. And so mine was knitted in this lovely autumnal variable ball. And there's lace, there's eyelets, there's, diff there's, rib there's ribbing. And then you knit to here, put these stitches on hold, and then you knit and finish this wing of the, the shawl. And you wear it. Then you pick up and knit a board, a very simple border along this edge, the whole of that edge, and then you wear it that way round. Maybe. So yeah. that's the point at the bottom. Yeah. And it just looks spectacular. <laughs> it looks really good on. Yeah. Uh -huh. So if you hold up your tonal one, you'll see the we'll see the ribbing and everything. So I can't remember who the yarn, this yarn was um, Indigo she, Dragonfly. And, oh, and, and the colourway Harry Harry Potter, Potter and the Half Blood sausage. sausage. And then the other colour, everything else was done in a Zauber ball called Clone. No, it wasn't Zauber ball, it was a Cumulus, cumulus sorry, Baby Surreal yeah, packet from Fives Bates called Glow. Glow. And it just looks amazing. And I yeah, think it was all the different laces that I liked <laughs> and um, some, and some little nubs. nubs. <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, so this pattern is available in our Ravelry store. And if you use the, you can get 20% off using the, the uh, podcast code. Um, I keep, I just say it, <laughs> but which is bonus 20. It is in the show notes below, but yeah. that's there always for you to use on any of our patterns apart from the charity ones. But um, yeah, we love Shallow Arrow. And Joe Shawls now get a lot of interest and we sell quite a few copies of the pattern. But the older ones kind of don't get forgotten, but they don't, they crop up yeah. every now and again, don't they? But we just thought we'd promote um, the first yeah pattern that um, Joe designed, and this is yeah. I thought, I thought Never thought I was going to be writing patterns. No, this is called shallow designed. arrow. <laughs> and um, actually, I wrote the pattern because yes. I spent many, many a long time writing every row after I'd knitted it, and I said to Joe, "It's lovely. Everyone's going to enjoy knitting it." because they're not going to have to write down what they did after every <laughs> row. <laughs> but I did knit one. Which was your favourite bit? <clears throat> um, I like to, I, it's really weird because I like the corrugated rib, not corrugated rib. The one by one the, rib. The one by one rib, both sections. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I didn't enjoy the, I didn't enjoy the nups on that end because <laughs> You start them, you have to cut the yarn every time. But, um, yeah, my nuts are like little, they're very easy to do. Mm -hmm. There are quite a lot of them. But yeah, don't want to, but it's just beautiful. And this, I did run out of yarn and I had to use a second, buy another one. It, it wasn't the same colourway, so you can kind of see little bits are darker mm. but 
beautiful. Does it make you want to knit another one? That was the lace that became, no it wasn't. I adapted it and it became the whistle down lace. What, the arrow? Yeah. Yeah. So, if you go, I think, so did we put the photos on the grid that, that John yeah. took? They're on there, way back on Twin Set and Pearl's grid. Yeah. We could put it, we could put it, we'll put it on our grid. We'll repost them. Yeah. Cool. So, so you can see the original. Well, the original's in the pattern page as well. Yeah. yeah. So next weekend is Flop. Yeah. In which Bristol. Is, which is a, a yarny get together in for the for Southwest yeah. Yarnies. And Bird Street Yarn sell their yarn and it's, Cat and Sparrow. Cat and Sparrow. Rachel, she's called. Mm -hmm. yeah. So she, there's two, they have a like, they always, Bird Street are always there because they organise it. And then they have a guest, um, Dyer. Dyer. Yeah. So this time it's, and we, so we've been a bit, February was not a great month for us. No. And <laughs> we know it lacks a days of And, but we can, we've been able to set, we're now able to, sell ourselves, sell ourselves. <laughs> not sell even self-publish but we so joe last year did four designs for four three designs and yeah, Sophie. Sophie. Yeah, and Sophie, yeah. um for botanical yarn and this one came out in august so we are now able to sell it in our own ravelry store and this is salvia solace so we should have been able to sell, we sort of could have sold this last month mm. but and I knitted this in, this one somewhere in the test knit, and it's just beautiful. So it's got Joe had been obsessing <laughs> about welts for a long time. <laughs> a knitted welt, let's put it that way. And she actually has made up this. Made up? Did you make up this? It's mm. a pico welt. So it's got like a, <laughs> a pico. It's very lovely. So it starts off with this basket weave, which is the same pattern that I put on Piper. Uh, yeah, one of them. And it's lovely to knit. And I block, mine's blocked amazingly, hasn't it? But I don't know, I don't know what this yarn is. I know that the the navy blue is Balika yarn in it, and it's got yak in it. I don't know, mm. it's got yak in it as well. And then you do this, so you knit this, this is just lovely, almost like stopping it. You know, just mm -hmm. like you learn the pattern. And then you do this bit, which is slightly complicated, but not, you not just, that you difficult. Just, yeah. You just have to pay a bit of attention. And, re and do what Joe tells you to do. And and then you do your second Pico Weld. And a couple of, a couple of rows of the, of the main colour. And then you do this lovely lace, which is... The simplest lace. And it's also the lace that I put on my Edwina sock for the year before. And the Edwina cowl. Edwina cowl. But it makes the you get green like scallop. scallop. Yeah. And mine, I did block it, obviously. But I didn't block them. Um, like, I didn't... I just blocked it straight along mm. the bottom. And it's it does roll a little bit but it is just lovely to knit. So this pattern will be out next weekend. Friday yes. or Saturday? Friday. Let's do Friday. Friday to Monday, we'll have a discount. And I will be releasing two sock patterns because I didn't manage to release August socks in February. So I'm going to um, release August and September socks next weekend and they are so I, knit, I knit this originally in non-superwash yeah. non and then that's beautiful yeah so you get um Sophie has lovely kits for it um but you do you could use stash now uh, you can buy the pattern yourself mm. um just two skeins of fingering weight yeah so I these are the 
So the Olga, the Olga socks were a pair of shorties called Lilac Honey, and they've got this twisted stitch and it looks like honeycomb. And so they will be released. And then the September socks are called Bracken Rose. I'm just gonna make the socks fit larger. And they are an all over lace which actually is my most kind of intricate pattern that I've ever um, designed. But there's this lovely um, like rosebud on the front and then the back is just um, the side. So this, the pattern just follows on, but because there's no rosebuddy bit, it goes like a zigzag which is lovely and um i actually might just put that on a cowl <laughs> maybe just for me <laughs> but there yeah they're the bracken rose socks and so they will be both be released i'm not sure whether just to do buy one get one free or just a discount on both mm. people. or maybe people don't want them both so yeah. there'll be people who want shorties and people who want so we'll just do a discount on discount on both of them. So those three patterns will be coming out on Friday. on Friday. And Joe will put a link to Shallow Arrow in the show notes yes. for you. Right, so now we're at one hour twenty. We've got a very just a few acquisitions. Yeah. So I've got a few more new ones. Oh lots. I'll just start with this. Yeah. So I got sent, oh, because I've been not very well, a few people have sent me gifts. And Maggie, my lovely Maggie, sent me this knitting sheep <laughs> who's knitting blue yarn and made her think of me. So he, she's lovely. And then my first purchase, yarn purchase, was from Love Craft. Oh, including that sock, so the, the sock yarn. Yeah, so the sock, using. the yarn, the Lana Grocer. So they had their Merino Yak was on sale. And I bought this tealy blue colourway, which I can't remember the name of, but it is colour 07515. And this... Um, Colour which is 07511. It's a great range kind of colour. And I'm thinking about doing a stripy muscle bra mm -hmm. in it. I'm not sure though. So, but they were bought to knit some kind of accessory together. But you could never quite tell the colour. Yeah. on line and I thought that was beige and that was blue it made it darker but I do like them mm. together that's got a lovely heathered yeah kind of purple almost in there but yeah so they will become if the, at the minimum socks <laughs> and then I bought this which is also merino yak Regia Premium in the and it's called Yak Colour and it has this pattern and these are I bought this to knit the socks for dad. Hmm, thank you like that. But the only thing this yarn is actually quite Thick. plumper than um there's four hundred metres per hundred grams. Hmm. But so I already yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna ca I'll cast on his socks in <clears throat> on I knit his on two point seven fives. So I'll cast them on and see if they seem a lot bigger or mm. what. But yeah. So that was my first purchase. So and I met this lady at um, at Unravel. Um, I can't remember her name. Oh, unfortunately, Soft Accents is the was her company. We've talked about her quite yeah. a lot. Yeah, and she, uh, it was the first time I've, I've met her, so apologies, I'm really rubbish with names. Um, 
We'll find out her name and put it in the show notes. She watches the podcast. Oh, right. So, um, I really apologise. I can't remember the name. But I was looked through her. I looked through her bags a couple of times yeah. on her stall, on her stand at Unravel. I couldn't pick. It was just because there was were riot. No, yeah. there were riot of colour. Yeah. And I couldn't pick. And so that one's she gave me her card actually. and she said, "Have a look on my um, through Instagram." On my Etsy mm -hmm. shop, so that's what I did, and I saw this one, um, and it was in two other people's baskets, but I got in there <laughs> and bought it. Just bought it, yeah, and I absolutely love For it. For some reason, it seems very botan, not botanical, but biological mm. to me. I don't know, but I love the orange with the teal. Yeah, it's beautiful. Teal Show them orange. those. The background pattern quite is lovely. Yeah, it's, it's like a. There's a flower, isn't mm. it? Yeah, I love it. What's inside like? So the inside is like a, it's like a wash, like a like a waterproof. Oh right. So you could use it as a wash bag, but I will be using it for a yarn Nitty. project. Mm. Doesn't feel too rubbery. No, no, it's lovely. Yeah, it's called a pouch. I wonder if she'll be at Wonderwall. I don't know. Um, it's called a pouch on the website. So you were, you were expecting it to be smaller? I was expecting it to be smaller than that. The, I, I've been on and had a look, and she does have the sizes. Mm. So when you click on the different... Yeah, no, I'd read the, I'd read the thing and thought... And then um, when it when I got the email to say the pouch was coming, right? <laughs> um, I was like, oh, is it going to be smaller than I thought? But it's mm. actually the end of it. Yeah. So go and check out Soft Accents. That is that her Instagram? That's her, her Instagram. Well, we'll link it. To, we'll link it down below. And um, yeah. So my next, well, not it wasn't next, but next is from your warehouse, and I literally ordered this on Thursday, and it arrived yesterday. Wow! With real mail. <laughs> <laughs> So that was that included the yarn for the cowl. So I have two of each, just in case. And I also bought some of the Drop Sky. Ooh. <laughs> I'm so sorry if you heard that. <laughs> in dark olive and navy blue, which actually is a bit bluer. Than I and that's a bit more pine thought. than olive. Yeah, so I think this would actually make a nice hat and it would go with my Cecil. I have given you a blue hat. I know you have. And But this a green hat is always good. Mm. So um, hopefully. I, mean, I, haven't, I need to knit a Sophie well, hat. You could, yeah, knit your own hat. I need to knit a Sophie hat. Nice to have one not with mohair. Yeah. Well, I think. And then I bought... <laughs> three ball skeins of brushed alpaca silk to see if so in a in the Simon you hold when you knit mohair you hold two strands together and I wanted to see if it would look, be all right in one strand of a brushed alpaca which I think it will be it might not be as what yarn are you using for the other one is dropped Nord it's a bit thicker yeah in caramel. I might order some flora in caramel. Mm. But I've been obsessed with this colour, colour combo. <laughs> so <laughs> lilac and caramel. Brown colour. So, but there are, and I really wanted to cast it on straight away when I got this, even though I've got a Simon on the needles. Mm -hmm. um, but I do think I'm going to knit my Morris I'm going to try and finish that by the end of March. Mm. 1st of April, I'm going to cast on my Morris. And then I will do this one. It might be at the same time. Yeah. Because I don't know. I want... I said I'm not going to knit any more garments. And I... You want the V-neck boxy? I want the V-neck boxy, but I don't know. I think I'd rather have a, a shawl. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's that was good. so I was amazed by how quickly that came. Mm. And I um yeah, so I'm gonna 
my, I do want to finish the cow as well. Sorry, everybody. It's awful. So when I, tea. when Rachel was talking about lilac and caramel, I had just finished the Morris cowl and I was like, oh, I'd like one in the silk. Sure, knitting for Olive must do. Yeah, it's like, it seems to be like the. And um, inch is and the in, colour of yeah. the year, isn't it? But anyway. It seems to be like an in combo. Yeah. No. So I went to knitting, I went to No Frills. I went to the post office to post something. Mm -hmm. And then I went to No Frills, which is just up the road from the post office. And Knitting for Olive don't do a lilac silk. So that is not happening. But then Sun has gone do a their tin leaner, it, they do a lilac, but you can't find it anywhere. I think they I um, must have haven't it. redone it for summer yet. Oh right. Um but anyway, while I was in No Frills, I saw this and I couldn't resist. Um I was looking at them because they had lilac knitting for olive mohair. Mm -hmm. I was like, at the very least, I could do the same. They've got, do they not have their merino? Caroline, their merino? Yes, they do, but I don't want, I want a summer one. Oh. Okay. Uh, anyway, I saw this and I fell in love with it. So it came home with me. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I just love the, I love the flex. It's beautiful. And then you, I thought you were just going to keep it straight. I might have to just keep, it might just have to be a fur, a fur baby in my <laughs> craft room. But I do, I love it. Gorgeous. That's weird. Right. Um. <laughs> Where go? And this is my last purchase that's of stuff that's actually arrived. So I have been. So I went on to, I thought I'd lost, actually, a couple of, like, two stitch markers. <laughs> um, but you've got to make it worthwhile for the postage, haven't you? Fuck off. <laughs> so I um, thought to myself, I love all's wall and all stitch markers. So I went on their website and I bought three lots. The bigger ones, there's a five millimeter up to five millimeter. Mm. These ones I like, so there's like they're all kind of bluey teeny colors, and then the gray with different color beads, and dark blue and green. So, yeah, so they'll last me for a while because I literally dropped one in the car, got out thinking it was on me, couldn't see it anywhere, haven't found, can't find it in the car, where has that stitch marker gone? Mm. Um, yeah, so, and you know how many you lose down the It's sofa. gone to the mystery. Every every time I go, come away for the weekend, yeah. I go, I'll come home, Chris will have been through the chair and there'll be a little pile of things that I've dropped, dropped, down, the, dropped mm. down the chair. Yeah, and then, so I bought those, put those in my cart and I looked, I don't know if you know, Oh, there were quite a few yarn shows. I first saw them at the Southern and they dye self-striping yarn. Um, many of the colours aren't my... Don't go on your lip, as mum would say. Sorry. <laughs> a bit too rainbow, shall we say. For, although I do... I love looking at them, but I just wouldn't mm. knit them. So anyway, this one I couldn't resist and it has got in the stripe, this rainbow, like a whole rainbow with grey the side of it. And they're quite small stripes. It's quite mm -hmm. amazing. I can't believe how they, how they managed to dye it. I'm looking at it now. <laughs> so I bought a 50 gram ball. Um, they didn't have it in 100 grams. Um, it's called Not Today Sunshine. And <laughs> um, you, I can get a pair of... So I'll wind it into 225 grams. They may not quite match. So we go. They may not match. Yeah, and um, unless or, you're good planning to give them to me, then yeah. you have to make them match. But if you're not planning to or, give them to me, don't worry about it. I might knit, just knit a pair of shorties in it in them. Mm. But that might be cast on quite soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so all's wool, all wool that ends wool. 
and uh, so we'll link them below. Mm, beautiful. I love their stitch markers and they also sell barber cords, which I don't know, but they have lovely colours. So those are things I bought from them before, but yeah. Right, and I've got one, one more. more. Yeah. So um, I don't know if any of you are ladies of a certain age who um, wake up in the middle of the night and can't go back to sleep. Um, so the other night I was wide awake. My husband's had COVID, um, so he was sleeping in the spare room. So I was all on my own. <laughs> and in that... Situation, all on my own with a phone. <laughs> yeah, normally if he's there, I don't look at my phone. I just try and go back to sleep. Yeah. But when I'm on my own, <laughs> I get the phone out. And I was looking through the Knitter magazine online and I saw this pattern for this cowl. Can you read the, can you say what its name is? El, Elsje? 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 By Soraya? Soraya? Soraya Garcia. Mm -hmm. And it's this, it's all done in Jameson and Smith. I think it's James Smith. Jumper weight. And it's just these really lovely muted colours. Have you got another and, picture of it? Um, it's on the pattern, that's the only thing. Okay, right. So it's not the pattern, the pattern, is it? So, I decided I wanted that pattern. And I wanted that yarn. I, um, screenshot that. <laughs> um, you looked for it online, didn't you? And then I looked for it online. Um, I found it at per lessons, but I am not going to knit a cowl. I'm going to knit a shawl with the colour work of the cowl right. on a Cecil shape shawl. Right. Um, obviously, it's more tricky because you have to do colour work on the pearl side. Yeah. Um, that's I'm just that's just the choice I've made. So I when are you going to cast this on? I don't know. I went on to her lessons and you received this lovely website. little box. Yes, and this little box arrived. Ooh. Could it have been more perfect? <laughs> so that's all the colours. All, that's not all the colours. There's one other colour. So if you want to, can you hold? Yeah. So it's quite an, an unusual palette. Uh, palette. Yeah, because you've got this it's quite dark, but it, they're all heathered. Mm. So, and these three are quite spring. Yeah, and these are quite autumnal. And then you've got this pop of colour. Blue. But it's less heathered, isn't it? Yeah. That's more of a, this one I like. But it's little tiny bits of it. So yeah. I think it doesn't. On the... And then this is the main colour. Yeah. That's the Which is like a porridgey. It's called two grey brown. Mm. So it's like a porridgey oatmeal mm. colour. And I I think for the for the cowl you need two. Really? Let's have a look. Um, How many meters do you get in a? Yes, two of that. And one of each of the others. And one of each of the others. 115 metres. So I bought five. Mm -hmm. When you do the colour work, is that involved? Or is it always... Very, a very little bit of it. Right. That probably makes sense then. Um... And there are rows where there's three colours. But Jo is nothing but a glutton for glutton for punishment. So, um, so yeah, I really love that. Yeah. Let's hope that I actually do it, not like the Isaiah. And you drove past per lesson, probably on your way here. Yeah, Isaiah <laughs> Tokyo. Oh yeah, sure. That I bought kit. kit that I bought from. 
Oxford Yarns drawn. I've never no, made that. Know. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's um, it. Yes, that's all the purchases. Although there are some things in the mail. And um, so next weekend, if we're going to flock, mm -hmm. we are going to also try and get to the Sodbury Yarn. You, at least you're going to go, aren't you? Yeah, what's it called? What was it called? Sodbury Yarn Festival? No, Sodbury something. At Chipping Sodbury. It's the, the 6th, 6th and 7th, 7th of, of April. Um, I'm here on the 6th, so I was hoping to pop in on my way home yeah. on the 7th. Um, and then the end of April, we're going to Wonderwall. Yeah. Wonderwall, Wales. So yeah, so if you're going to that, that, let us know. We are going. We've got tickets for both Saturday and Sunday. Um, I think it's only Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> Joe definitely will be there both days. I may be having a rest on the second day. We'll see how it goes. We've heard it's quite hard going, especially if you're a bit disabled like I am now. Um, but. I'm sure the wool fumes and the excitement <laughs> will uh, yeah. carry us on. But yeah, so we'll be there and we're staying with our knitting friends from the knitting hotels. So that's really exciting to see them again. And um, looking really looking forward to it. Mm. And you've got I'm going one to South trip. Africa yeah. in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't know when we're going to get together to podcast next. It'll probably be the 5th of April, mm. won't it? Yeah, so it's quite young. Not so think Three weeks mm. away. Yeah. And then we'll hope to film at Wonderwall, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll try and be on Instagram. Yes. Do a live um, with both of us on the first to, to kick off the cow. And we'll have written everything on the in the thread yes. in Calvary by then. So, yeah. So get thinking about which of the family mm -hmm. you'd like to knit. And, you know, Joe and I can't decide yet either. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to basically, I want to knit another one of all of them. Yeah. Actually, no, I've, already, I've just done a fizzy pop. Mm. I don't want to do another fizzy pop. I want another fizzy pop, but I don't think I want the one. I'm going to design a Simon Cowell during the... <laughs> We've got through the whole episode without saying, <laughs> without saying Simon Cowell. So, or any, mo any more faux pas for Lynn. <laughs> yeah, so that's the, I think that's what I'm going to do first. Right. Because, um, obviously we can't win prizes, so we can yeah. start wherever we want. Yeah. Oh. Do you remember Hillary in the oh, list? Oh, we didn't. No, it was Hillary as well. Yeah. So we'll have the list. Joe will put the list in the show notes as well. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so it's been lovely catching up with you. Hope you've enjoyed you know, ramble yeah and thank you if you've <laughs> stuck so this is with us this far obviously you can stop the pot, <laughs> stop it at any time and have a cup of coffee or whatever but um it's been lovely to catch up again and show you what been what we've been up to mm -hmm. so we'll be back in three weeks so um yeah and if you've won a prize catch, if you've won a prize yeah. get in touch with us we'll have lots more to catch you up on yeah. in three weeks time wonderful cool bye, bye everybody then.